Hello, welcome to Pilates Network. Today, we're going to change some things up on some more classical exercises with different tempo changes. So we'll do some a little bit slow, and then we'll work on speeding it up and then go back and slow. But you only want to go faster so long as you can maintain your form. So if going faster causes you to lose your form, then you want to keep it at that slower pace. We're also going to work up to jackknife and bicycle today. And if bicycle freaks you out, um, you can always modify that with a block. That's what I'm going to use and show you to do. Um, you can always have a folded blanket um, with whatever thickness that you need. So just know that there are options out there if you're working. So that being said, let's get started. So we're just going to start seated here. So I'm coming back. My sits bones are rooted. I'm coming back in my sits bones. I want a nice long tall spine from crown to the tailbone i'm zipping up the front body good and i'm just going to start with the neck stretch so i'm going to take my chin down good and come back up if it's safe for you to do so you can take that jaw more forward getting the stretch right under here and come back to center Left ear, left shoulder. Feel free to kind of play with different angles, different sweet spots. And when you're ready, we'll come back up. We'll take that to the other side. And when you're ready, coming back. Good. So your shoulders and your sternum are going to stay forward. Only the head is going to move. So I'm going to look to the left and to the right. And to the left, and to the right, to the left, and pause. Now, now, take your eyes a little bit more to the left. Does that help you turn the head a little bit more to the left? Getting a deeper stretch down here. And back to center, turn to the right. Now turn just the eyeballs to the right. And come back center. Good. Let's take a big inhale and reach. Exhale, get a Side bend towards the left. Shoulders and hips are in alignment as best as you can and avoid doing this forward roll. So you wanna be nice and open here to start. Breathe and expand. Remember, it's not about where this arm goes. It's about opening up the side body. And move back through center, taking it over and reach. And we'll go again, taking it to the left. You can Stay here, you can open towards the ceiling or belly button in, good, getting a C-curve roll. That also means your hip bones are gonna roll to the back a little bit. And opening up, moving through center last time with this one, you can stay here. You can open to the ceiling or again, you can come in that C-curve roll, forehead in the direction of the knee, but not touching. and opening up and coming back. Good, let's get a gentle twist, big inhale, exhale, rotate to the left, reach those arms long, rolling shoulders back, looking a little bit more behind you. Expand the rib cage. And lift and rotate other side, arms come down, rolling shoulders back, looking a little bit more behind you. and lift and come back to center. Great job. We're gonna to come to all fours here, just continuing to warm up the spine for some deeper work as we go. So spreading the fingers nice and wide, rooting through the knuckles of pinky, corner and thumb knees are under the hip. Good, belly button is an inhale. Chest comes forward, pelvis tilts back, nice towel pose. Exhale and round, press away, nice cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. One more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. Come back to the table. We're going to take this into thread the needle. So I'm going to start. My right arm is going to open. Good. And I'm just going to get a little scoop. Press away and open. Take it into a scoop. Press away and open. Scoop all the way through. 
Good. Now remember, we're not pressing the ear into the mat. You want a long line from crown to tail. So use that left hand, left arm, left shoulder to help support you here. Belly button is in, pressing into that hand, coming back center, taking that to the other side. So left arm's gonna come up, good, and we're gonna scoop and coming up and scoop. And one more time, coming up and take it all the way through. Get a long line from crown to tail. Use your right hand and shoulder to help you here. Hips are over the knee. Breathe and expand. And then when you're ready, pressing through, coming back up. Let's take a child pose. Knees can be together as wide as the mat or somewhere in between. Maybe arms come long in front of you. Breathe and expand. And then when you're ready, get taking hands under the shoulders, coming back up. We're gonna come onto our backs now. So we're gonna come into some pelvic tilting, not the clock, just some tilting. So before we do that, once you come down here, just kind of let yourself wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get those little movements that you need to get. Hips, knees, and toes are tracking here. I'm gonna take my arms out to the side so you can see better what I'm doing but you can have your arms um, long by your side. So my belly button is in, I'm zipped up from pubic bone to behind the navel. I'm in my neutral spine. So my hip bones and my pubic bone are in a relatively same plane, relatively flat. Good. And then from here, I'm zipping up. I'm going to scoop in that belly button, tilting the pelvis back. So the pubic bone's coming towards the face. Good. That's your posterior tilt. And coming back to center. And then I'm going to rock it forward. That's your anterior tilt. Good. And moving through. Posterior tilt. And anterior tilt. Posterior tilt. Belly button stays in. Anterior tilt. And posterior tilt. And anterior tilt. Good. And come back to neutral. We're going to take this into bridges now. So arms are gonna to come to the side. And on these bridges, I want you, this is also a prep for the jackknife um, and the bicycles that we're doing later. So I really want you to get into the habit of pressing the arms and shoulders into this mat when you lift up. So your upper body is engaged here the whole time. So from here, rolling shoulders back, pressing those arms in, pressing evenly to the feet, lift the hips straight up, Good. pressing into those arms. And we'll lower that back down. Good. You can do it that way again, or do it through an articulation, bone by bone. Tilting the pelvis back. Think about that posterior tilt. Tilting up or lifting up, bone by bone. Just go working those arms. And from the mid back, I'm gonna lower down through the rib cage, through the lumbar, through the tailbone, back to the sacrum. Good. So again, you can lift straight up or articulate with me one more time, taking it back, peeling it up. I'm pressing my arms into the mat as I go. And we're bringing that down bone by bone. Coming back down. Good. So you can stay with a few more of those. We're going to take this into a one leg bridge here. So I'm going to start with my right leg up to the ceiling. And while you're here, just point and flex that foot. Roll that ankle in one direction and then in the other. Okay. And spread the toes wide and squeeze them together. Okay, so here we go. Rolling shoulders back. You're using your arms and that left leg to get you up there. Good, and we're just gonna lift straight up. Good, you can stay here or you can take that right leg long. And here we go. I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna bend, I'm gonna stretch, I'm gonna lift, lower. Bend, stretch, lift, lower, bend, stretch. Pick up that tempo. Lift, lower, bend, stretch, lift, lower, bend, stretch, lift, lower, bend, stretch. Put that foot down. Even up the hips. Lower that down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle here. Knees into the chest. If you need that, we're going to take that right into the other side. Left leg's going to come up. So again, before we start, 
point and touch that foot. Get rolling that ankle in one direction. And then the other. Good. Hopefully nobody's hearing their snap, crackle, pops. They're good. Spreading those toes wide and squeezing them together a few times. Good. So here we go. One leg bridge. Use those arms. Use those shoulders. When you're ready, you can lift it up there. Good. The left leg's going to lower. So here we go. Same series. Lift, lower, then stretch. Lift, lower, then stretch. Lift, lower, then stretch. Faster tempo. Lift, lower, then stretch. Lift, lower, then stretch. Lift, lower, then stretch. Foot comes down, even up the hips. Roll that down. Knees into the chest. Rock, 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 side to side. Great work. Let's take the feet back down. Let's practice some nice chest lifts here. So I'm going to take my arms up. Good inhale, exhale, nod the chin. My belly button is in. I'm looking towards my thigh. I'm reaching long and strong. So when I come down here, see how I've got a little bit of a bend? I'm not reaching long. Strong and long. Lifting up, lowering that down. Inhale. Exhale, zip up that front body, not that chin. Reach, long and strong. And lift, and lower it out. Stay with those like that, or take the knees into the tabletop position. Inhale, exhale, nod the chin, lift up, reach long and strong. Stay in tabletop, or reach long with the leg. Bend the knees, lift the arms, lower back down. One more, inhale, exhale. Tell not the chin, lifting it up, reaching long and strong. Maybe legs go. We'll bend the knees, lift the arm, and lower it down. Knees in. All right, we're going to take this into hundreds now. We're going to do this with a tempo change. So the first 50, the first half, is going to be the normally way we do it, really quick. The last 50, the last half, is going to be really slow. It's going to be harder than you think. So if you need to take a break, Take one. So feet can be grounded here today, knowing where you're going to go. You can be tabletop. You can take your legs long. Legs can be in parallel or your Pilates feet. Your choice. Prep for your hundreds here. Big inhale. Exhale. E curve it up. Reach those arms long and strong, no matter what you're doing. Take your legs where you're going to take them. Start pumping. And we inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift step higher. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach deeper. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, hold. Lift higher, reach deeper with the arm and bring that down. Woo! It made that a little extra special. All right. So we're going to do the first two of a series of five here. We'll do these with tempo changes as well. We'll do five slow, five fast. I won't tell you what's coming first, but not. So knees in tabletop position here, preparing for single leg stretch. Arms are going to come up. Good. Prep your first knee. Reach it long. Remember, hips stay grounded. And we switch and 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 switch. And switch. And switch. I'm feeling the heat now. And switch. And switch. And switch. Bring that down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Take any little movement you need. Single, straight leg stretch. Legs are going to come up. Lift up, rep yourself. Remember, if you're pulsing, it's only the leg you're grabbing that pulses. Your long leg does not. 
Okay, so here we go. Pulse, pulse, switch. 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 Lift higher. Pulse, pulse, switch. 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 And where we go. And wiggle, wiggle, side to side. Let's go into a nice, comforting supine switch here. You're taking arms out to the side, knees in tabletop position. Let those knees fall over to the right. It's a nice little stretch and break here. Breathe and expand. You can take one leg at a time if you need that, or you can use your abs to bring everything back in the center. And when you're ready, we'll take that to the other side. Knees come over to the left. Breathe and expand that right side. And then when you're ready, one leg at a time, or using your abs to come back in here. Good, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna transition, we're gonna roll like a ball, we're gonna roll six times. Six times. So you can hold back here, or you can hold up here. You choose, careful not to roll back on the neck when you do these. And when you're ready, one, two, three, four, Five and six. Could you find a balance? Find a balance. Find a balance. All right. Coming down, we're going to go into our saw series here. So I'm going to scoot back just a little bit. I'm going to take my leg. It's about as wide as the mat. If you're not using a mat, come a little bit wider than hip width apart. Good. And zipping up that front body. Let's go to spine stretch forward. So we're peeling off that imaginary wall. So we don't want to start like this. We don't want to start up here like this. Stay nice and tall from the head to the tail. Nod that chin. Belly button is in. And I'm scooping in. I'm reaching and I'm rounding. I want to try to get to a point where my ears and my biceps are meeting each other. But I've got a rounded spine here. Good. And your knees can bend a little bit if you need them. Starting from the tailbone now, I still, still have that C-curve scoop. I'm stacking bone by bone, back on top. Nice tall sit. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale. I'm not sure why I whispered there, but good. And take that back. Coming back up one more time. Nodding the chin. These feel so good. Admittedly, I don't do as many of these as I should. I should definitely try to practice these more often. Good. And this is one where I personally believe just works best the slower you go. The deeper you get in there, the better it feels, the better the stretch. Hence the name, fine stretch forward. So let's take this into a side bend. So I'm going to take my arms out to the side here. You want your hips, both of them, to stay grounded. You want to try to have your arm, shoulders and hips in alignment here as well. So I'm just going to take this over good, and reach. How deep you reach depends on you. Good. I'm squeezing that low rib cage and the top of the hip together. I'm trying to anyway, and we'll come back and we'll go again. And come back up and again. And come back up and again. Good. Now, hands behind the head, a little bit quicker now. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Good. Let's take this into a twist. I'm going to leave my hands right here. My elbows are going to come out to the side. They don't have to be as wide as possible. Both hips stay grounded. And we're going to rotate to the right and to the left. And right and left and right 
and left. You can pick this up a little bit as long as you are not cranking through that back. You can close your eyes if you get motion sickness. And we'll take that back center. Let's put all of that together into stall, shall we? Arms out to the side. I'm going to rotate to the right. I'm going to round and reach, throwing the pinky toe off with my pinky finger. Backing, coming back up. Rotate, round and reach. Backing, back to center. Rotate, round and reach. Backing, back to center. Rotate, round and reach. Backing, back to center. One more time each side. Rotate, round and reach. Stacking, rotate, round and reach, and stack and come to center. Great job here. We're going to go right into some roll downs, roll up, and roll over. These are preps for what we're going to do towards the end of class. Good. So from here, remember, if you're still working, you can always bend the knees. You can hold on. You can go halfway down, halfway up. Same thing with legs long, or you can come all the way down. So. I'm going to demo from right here. So big inhale. Good. I'm tilting the pelvis back. I'm scooping in that belly button. So when you're in a C-curve spine, you've got a posterior tilt of that pelvis. Good. And you're good. Come back. And come down. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Oh, I'm getting better, but I'm still favoring the left side. Legs aren't coming up as high. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to round forward. Good. And then from here, I'm going to continue this motion for one more. Inhale, exhale. Good. So mine are not perfect, but those of you at home that are maybe watching for the first time, just know that you want to try to roll up through center and try not to lift the legs up. So that takes a lot, a lot of practice to do. And then from here, when you're ready, last time rolling up. Good. This time you have options. You can keep working of those. If you're kind of done with the big ones and just want to do some small winch, we'll be back. Or you can follow me with some roll over, okay? So from here, this goes back to trying to get those arms and everything engaged. We're going to come back. Pressing over. There we go. Help yourself get back there. Just don't come onto the neck. Good. I'm pressing my arms in. I'm opening the legs, shoulder width apart, and then I'm going to roll down. You know, you can always have your hands behind that back too if you need that there for safety as you start training. Good. We're going to do one more. I'm going to roll all the way forward. Coming back there, lifting up. Oh, there we go. Opening the legs. I'm just going to lift up from here and come all the way forward. Good. From here, we're going to roll like a ball again. We're going to end with a balance. So choose where you want to be. One, two, three, and four. Find your balance. For some of you, that balance is going to stay here. Others, you might grab a shin or foot or toe and take one leg out. A little stretch. Bringing that back in. Maybe you go to the other side. Good. Long spine here. Try not to curve it. And coming back in. Good. We're going to roll down onto our backs again. So I'm going to take this down. We're gonna to go to some hamstring stretches. We just work hard, we'll get some stretches in here. I'm gonna start with my left leg first. So I'm gonna just take that leg up, let the hands travel up as high as they can go. Good, and I'm just gonna point and flex. Point and flex. And roll that ankle around. In other direction. And now from here, when you're ready, good. You can hold your foot or your toe if you can reach that or have your leg somewhere on the outside. We're going to take this left leg out to the 
the left. Both hips are going to stay grounded. We're just going to get that nice stretch, nice adductor stretch in there. Breathe and expand. And when you're ready, we'll come back up. Good. From here, we're going to release. We're going to go into circles. You have the choice today of choosing small circles or large circles. And we'll do this one with a tempo change as well. So your other leg can be bent, slightly bent or long. It all depends on what feels the best for your back. Belly button is in nice and tight. Remember, this is core work. So I'm just going to start slow. That's four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and reverse. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Woo, that really works those muscles there. Good. Let's take that to the other side. So left leg can be long or bent. Take your right leg up. Take your hands behind that right leg. Good. Find your stretch. You can point and flex that foot. You can roll that ankle around again. Just find what feels good to you. Find what feels good to you. And then from here, when you're ready, good. You can release from there, grab the toe of the foot, or have your hand somewhere on the outside of this leg for support. Both hips grounded. Take that right leg out to the right. Getting a nice stretch here. And when you're ready, we'll come back up. Good. So again, good. Choose small circles or large circles. It doesn't matter where you start that, but when you're ready, then I'm going to do six, five, four, three, two, and one, and six, five. Four, three, two, one. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. One more because we're going to six and six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and bend in those knees and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good, so we're gonna go back to series of five. We're gonna do the next two in the series, the double leg exercises. So from here, we're gonna change that tempo again. So from here, I'm gonna exhale, I'm gonna lift up, I'm gonna reach. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale. Take that down for a moment. Double straight leg stretch. So remember, there's different ways you can do this one. You can sit on your hands. Can people like that a little bit better? Good. You can have the upper body grounded or upper body lifted. Feet can be in parallel or externally rotated. You choose. Belly button is in the entire time, though. I'm going to see curve here. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Bring that down. Wiggle, 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 side to side. All right. From here, we're just going to roll over, right over onto the right side. We're going to get some side series work here. So you choose how you want to do this. So you can be all the way down here. You can be here. You can be here. You can have your legs long in that stack. You can have them forward at 45-ish degrees. Bottom leg can always be bent. Always choosing what works best for you. I'm going to come down here. Okay. And I'm going to come to my parallel stack. Okay. So I'm zipping up. My top leg is in line with the hip. Okay. From here, with a little bit of a point, but not so much, if you get a foot cramp, we're going to go into some lifts. So my belly button is in, and I'm going to lift one. Two, straight up and down. Three, four, five, and six. Now, two really slow. Really slow on that lift. So slow on that lift. So slow and controlled on that down. And again, so slow. Slow on that lift. Slow, 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 Ooh. lower, 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 lower. Good. From here, when you're ready, Tony and hip are going to turn towards the ceiling. I'm going to lift, I'm going to bend, and I'm going to drag. Good. And lift, bend, and drag. Lift, bend and drag good now i'm going to reverse that i'm going to drag lift slowly lower back good drag lift slowly lower back one more time drag lift slowly lower back. Ready? Good. We're going to take this into circles now. So this one might be a little harder for some people. We're going to do four quick, four slow. So again, you want that stability. So if you can't keep the stability, if you're going fast, keep them all slow. So when you're ready, here we go. Starting with slow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. And let's reverse that slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Woo! Then that in, pat something out. Come on to your belly. On to the belly. Good. So we're going to practice full one series here. So be mindful. Um, you do need to be able to do the high swan in order to do swan dive and swan rocker. So if you're still here doing a little, um, almost like a sphinx pose, a baby swan, then just stay there. Okay, there's no shame in staying there. But from here, I'm going to take my hands a little forward into the side. I want my elbows to be in, more in line with the shoulders. My belly button is in, I'm zipped up. Feet don't lift up off the mat. And here we go. Find a little bit, find a lot. And lower it out. A little bit too forward here. Good. And we'll take that into two. Try to find a link, a little bit more length than those vertebrae every time you come down. Good. And again. Good. Now stay with those or here's swan dot. One, feet will come up on this one. Two, three, four, one rocker. One, two, three, and four. And take that down, hands under the shoulder, press back, get a child's pose. If it feel good to you to do a roundy child's pose, find a roundy child's pose. Good. 
Once you're ready, we're gonna take that side series to the other side. So coming on to your left side now, good. Try to be the same way that you were on the other side. So whatever version you chose on the other side, try to find that over here so that we're balanced. Good, so I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna do my long parallel stack. My belly button is in, good. And then from here, good. we're gonna lift one, Two, three, four, five, and six. So here we are, slow, 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 slow. slow. How slow can you go? And we'll lift, slow, 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 slow. And lower, slow, 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 slow. One more time, lift nice and slow. Good. Turning the toes towards here, good. We're gonna bend and drag and lift, bend, drag, lift, bend, drag, lift. Bend, drag, lift, bend, drag, reverse, drag, and slow one more down. And drag, lift, slow one more down. And drag, lift, slow one more down. One more time, drag, lift, slow, on that. From here, when you're ready, get, complete that by dragging. Come on to your back. We've got one more, the final series of five exercises. We've got crisscross. Yes, we're gonna do this with the tempo change too. You can make it easier with feet grounded and just do upper body. Good, I'm more challenging. Upper and lower body will lift. Make Sure, form stays correct no matter where you're going. Both hips stay grounded. Elbows are out to the side. You're leading with the shoulder, not with the elbow. Hands behind the head. Good. From here, when you're ready, let's do this slow. One, two, three, four. Pick it up. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and slow. Woo. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. One more. Keep breathing and bring that down. All right, we're gonna stay supine here. So this is where we're gonna start to practice the jackknife and go into the bicycle from there. So the jackknife, if you're familiar with um, Pilates reformer, if you will, is just like a shoulder. Well, it is a shoulder stand, but it's like a, the uh, short spine, the long spine, if you do on reformer. Except here, your feet are in the, are not in the straps. It's all you, okay? It's all you. So from here, when you're ready, good. And let's actually, I'm going to come up. Let's start this from a roll down. Good. So again, be mindful of the neck. You don't want to roll back on the neck. And since my ponytail has kind of lost, I'm just going to take that out. So you always want to keep your weight in the shoulders. So we're going to come back. Good. Pressing those arms in as best as you can. Good. Lifting up. It's okay to have hands here for right now. Good. We'll tap. Lift. And roll that down. Good. And you can come back up. We'll go again. Inhale. Exhale, coming down. Good. Good. I don't like a rollover. In fact, the rollover is a prep for this. So if you can't do a rollover, jackknife tends to not work. Good, and coming back up. Good. Now we're gonna take this on the bicycle. So bicycle, you're gonna start that the same way. You're gonna come up into the jackknife, except your hands are gonna be 
on your hips if you're doing it the advanced way. And um, if you're not going to do it the advanced way, but you still want to get up there, then you can take a folded blanket. You can take a block here and put under um, the tailbone and the sacrum. That way you'll get that little bit of a lift, a little bit more range of motion. This is where I'm going to demo um, once I get up there. But um, if you don't have anything like that, but the higher one scares you, you can also bicycle down here. Okay. Um, this is where I recommend starting if you've never done it before or have a neck issue or something. Okay, so here we go. Coming back into it. Good. So if you're going to come into it, good. You want your elbows here again. You're in your shoulders. Good. And you're holding the back of the hips here with the hands. Good. And then you can bicycle here. Okay. It's really hard for me to stay in good form. Good. With um, my legs up there. So I modify that with a block. Okay. So you can hold on to your block, you can hold on to yourself, you can have your hands long beside you. We're going to go into that bicycle and reach. Some people don't like that I give all these different options, but people need options. Not everybody can do the advanced one. Sometimes you need some training tools to help you get there. Sometimes we've got things going on that maybe we'll never get to the advanced one, but we can do advanced exercises modifications and that's just where we need to work. Good. So let's reverse that. Belly button is in. So this is considered the more slower pace here. So again, I want you to stay at this pace if this is where you're in control. Remember a Pilates principle is being in control. If you can't be in control, don't go faster. Otherwise, faster bicycle. Your legs should not be wildly going all over the place here. Belly button is in. You've still got full range of motion in those legs. Knees are not bent the entire time. Good, let's reverse. A little bit slower in the reverse. I just looked at myself in the video. This kind of going faster looks a little creepy, kind of fiery or something. That little claws or what have you. Have to remember that I'm closer to Halloween. Okay, now slow that down. And one more time, slow, bike forward. Good. And then when you're ready, good. Depending on how you got in here, if you're not on a block because you're up in the air, carefully, carefully roll out of there. Those of you that took a block or a folded blanket or something like that, your feet can come down first, lift up, remove that prop, and come back down. Good. From here, I'm gonna cross my ankles. I'm gonna roll up to a seat. Good. And when you're ready, we're gonna take another roll again. We're gonna go into seal, seal. So for seal, you take, here's my left leg. I'm gonna take my left arm under here. I'm gonna hold on. Good. Same thing on the right. Good. So some people need to just work in this balance first, just to kind of get used to it. Some people, if you struggle with rolling like a ball, you're definitely gonna struggle with seal. So go back and look at, or practice rolling like a ball. But from here, here we go. I'm gonna clap, 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 clap. Careful not to roll on the neck. Come up, clap, clap, clap. Find your balance, find your balance. Great job, roll forward, find a plank. This is a freestyle plank that we're gonna do here today, which means that you can do it um, however you want to do it. So you can have knees down up on the hands. You can be lifted. You can have knees down on forearms or you can be lifted. We're going to do this one for about 45 seconds. Okay, 45 seconds. I'm going to get my watch out here. So we're doing true 45 seconds. Nobody wants to hear me count. So you choose the plank that you're going to do. I'm going to choose forearm plank today, but you do what's appropriate for your body. So. Start to get into place. Good. And we'll start in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So find your good form. You're lengthening that sternum no matter where you're practicing. You're pushing away from that floor no matter where you're practicing. We're breathing. Good. There was our first 15 seconds. 
If you can't stay in good form, come out. Don't plow through in bad form. Nobody wants that. We are at the 30 second mark. 15 more seconds left. Can you get there? Belly button is in. We're breathing. We're breathing. We're breathing. Breathing. And we've got five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Take that down. All right. We've got six push ups coming our way. You too. Knees down, knees lifted. You can even do this one on all fours if you need to do that. I'm going to turn hands, elbows, shoulders all inward. Good. Whenever you're ready, find good form first. And here we go. Halfway down, push one. Halfway down, push two. Halfway, three. Halfway, four. Halfway, five. Halfway, six. Child pose. Find a seat here. Good, let's take the arms up overhead, big inhale. I'm gonna touch my hands together. Elbows are in, take the hands behind you, get a nice little stretchy there. Breathing. And coming back up, let's take a side bend back to the left, reaching. Moving through center, other side and reach. Good, and coming back up, taking hands forward, clasping the hands pressed away around the spine. And then from here, take this one, wherever your shoulders and your wrists need you to take it. So you can take your hands, you can just come right here, taking elbows back. You can clasp the hands, you can press down, you can roll the shoulders back, you can lift back there, find what feels good to your body. And gently release. Way to go. You made it through this mat work, tempo change challenge. I hope you had a wonderful experience and I hope to see you again really soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.